In dry, hot California. So wildfires are part of our reality. And while we can't change that, we can take steps to reduce the risk for our families and for our homes. New at 5, Alejandro Mejia Mejia shows us a few things we can do to be ready for an emergency. As the days heat up, all that grass and vegetation surrounding our homes begin to dry up. Cal Fire says our area becomes a hotbed of dry fuel, ready to ignite a wildfire at the smallest spark. Cal Fire Captain Dan Collins told me if you're looking to protect your home, focus on the first five feet around your house. It should be clear of any dead or dry debris like weeds, leaves, or pine needles. Collins says you should check your roof for any dead vegetation as well. Regarding like home hardening and being safe around your property, specifically from wildland fires, we want our citizens to concentrate on zone zero and zones one, which is the first five feet from the home or structure and then the additional 25, 30 feet total from the structure. Uh, if folks can concentrate on those areas, it'll hopefully lessen the impact of a wildland fire hitting their property or some type of fire brand or uh, spark or ember. Another way to prep your lawn is to remove any low-hanging branches. Aside from protecting your home, Cal Fire wants you to think about what you'd do if you have to evacuate. One way to prepare to evacuate quickly is by packing a go bag like my backpack here. The bag should consist of any important documents, any medicine or prescription medicine, and an extra set of clothes to get you through a day or so if you can't return home. Cal Fire says it's important you know your zone. So if evacuation order goes out, you know if it applies to your neighborhood. In Orville, I'm Alejandro Mejia Mejia with Action News Now. To learn more about ways to protect your home this wildfire season, you can check out CAL FIRE's webpage about defensible space. There's a link to it on our website, actionnewsnow.com.